Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In this video, we'll be looking into how payment applications can be prepared when your contract is an item rate contract and also when you have rate breakups. So to understand this better, we need to understand two things. That is what an item rate contract is and what do we mean by rate breakups? So item rate contract is when the payment application is calculated based on the actual quantity of work executed irrespective of the BOQ quantity. So for example, if your BOQ quantity is 50 for an item, but when your actual work is being executed and if the work's done goes on to become 60, then irrespective of what the BOQ quantity is, you can claim this in your payment applications without any variations. So basically in lump sum contracts, this additional item will become as a variation, but in an item rate contract, this additional quantity will become a part of your payment applications. And with the supporting documents and backups, you can easily claim it in your monthly payment applications. And depending on the percentage of increase, there are other provisions given in the contract wherein the rates can be modified. So this will depend upon the contract that is being used in the project. Now, what do we mean by rate breakup percentage? So this is basically a breakup that is given for each stage of a work item. So normally any work will have some stages and those are like supply, installation, testing and commissioning, and finally handing over. So every item of work in your project will have all these stages being carried out and a breakup percentage is given for each stage. So this we'll understand it more clearly when I explain it with an example. So I have prepared this small table to explain this concept easily. So here I have taken just one item. So here the description of the item is supply, installation, testing and commissioning of X, Y, Z. The BOQ quantity is 100. It is in numbers and the rate is 1000. So 100 into 1000, 100,000 is the total amount of this work done. This is what the rate percentage breakup is. So here I have given 70% of the rate for supply, 20% for installation, 5% for testing and commissioning, and 5% for handing over. Totally, it will be 100%. So at each stage of the work being carried out, this percentage of the rates can only be claimed. So I'll explain it here. So for example, now this item, X, Y, Z. So first the material comes at side. So let's assume that out of this 100, 50 numbers have come. So 50 has come. So the amount that you can claim will be 50 into 70 percentage into the rate. So this will be the amount that you can claim. And this part is the previous certified part. This is the current work done part and this will be the total. So since this is the first payment application, your previous will be zero. So here current as per the material that has come, we have claimed. And so the cumulative will be the previous quantity plus current work done quantity will be the cumulative quantity and previous amount plus the current will be the cumulative amount. So this is the total amount that you can claim. So now let's move into the next invoice. So you just copy this and we'll name it as the second invoice. So in the second invoice, whatever your cumulative is, will first become your previous and you just delete all the current work done. So now let's imagine in the next month, you have started installing this material. Out of the 50 that came, you have installed around 20. So under the installation, this row, you put 20. Now when you claim your amount, it will be 20 into 20% 20 of the rate. So again, we can also assume that this month, another 30 items has been supplied. So again, you can claim 30 into 70 percentage of 1000. So in this month, 30 materials have come and from the previous 50, 20 have been installed. So here I have just allied this cumulative part here. So now your total work done for this current month will be 25,000. Now let's see the third invoice. So to copy this and we'll name it as three. We'll copy all cumulative to previous and we'll delete all this. Now we'll assume that another 50 came. So here the quantity was 100, but as per actual work being executed and with the supporting documents, you can easily claim whatever has come to the site and whatever work is being executed. So we'll put another 50. So another 50 of the material has come. So we can claim the 70 percentage. Another maybe 60 has been installed. 
so we can claim 16 to 20 percentage into thousand so this will be your current work done now if you see the cumulative 130 material has come out of it 80 has been installed none of it has been tested and commissioned or handed over so now i guess you must have understood what the concept is now with the last i will make one more invoice this will be the last invoice for this item so let's copy cumulative and paste it in the previous and delete all this now we are assuming this to be our final invoice total materials or total quantity of this item is 130 only so 80 already has been previously done so now the remaining 50 we are calculating for installation so now the entire work has been completed it has been testing and commission and also finally handed over so the entire 130 we can claim on the testing and commissioning 130 into 5 percentage is the breakup for testing and commissioning in 2000 and again we have handed over the work so 130 into 5 percentage of the rate we can add put the formulas here so finally this is your total completed work so in spite of your POQ being 100 numbers the total amount that has been done for this project for this item is 130 and you can easily based on the supply installation testing commissioning and handing over breakups you can claim your payment applications according to the each stage of work being carried out so i hope this simple concept is clear and hope it was informative please do like this video if you have found it to be useful do share it with your friends and colleagues and i hope you can apply this concept in your professional life please don't forget to subscribe quantity serving studio for more informative videos keep learning stay safe bye